it going guys Sharblox here welcome back to another roblox video and in today's video guys we are going to be removing some of the bad recent roblox updates and we are also going to be fixing some roblox related errors this video is going to be a pretty interesting one so hopefully you guys can take away something from this video possibly learn something as well let's get into it anyway so recently the roblox app has been getting a few updates for the desktop version and the mobile version as well but the thing is guys both versions have been suffering from loads of different issues. This could be random errors, crashing, freezing, forcing updates on us that we don't really want in the first place. Like I'm sure you guys know, the desktop beta app was forced onto a lot of PC users. So yeah, in this video, I will be showing you guys how to remove that. I guess we might as well start off with that one. Since I featured it in a recent Roblox news video, I have also been getting quite a lot of questions about this one. I'm sure you guys know what I mean when I talk about the Roblox Windows beta desktop app i think that's what it's called over on one of my random alt accounts i actually got a pop-up for this so yeah it looks just like this it says try the roblox windows app beta find new experiences visit with friends customize your avatar and more with the new seamless desktop app well to be honest guys this sentence right here is honestly a load of rubbish it's so much more difficult to customize your avatar it's harder to find new games basically guys on the new windows desktop beta app i don't know whatever it's called it just makes roblox like like really bad. It's like the basic mobile version of Roblox, but on your desktop. Like, why would we want that? So many features are restricted. It's so stupid. Now, I'm well aware, guys, that's not everyone had this update forced on them. I'm also aware that not everyone had the chance to test out the beta. For some strange reason, this pop-up appeared on my alt accounts, but not my main account. However, all of my main accounts, or like the accounts I use mainly in videos, all had this update actually forced onto them. I'll show you guys what I mean right now. So, I'm on my Sharkblocks account, I'm on my Microsoft Edge browser, you know, like the browser version of Roblox. Everything looks normal. This is like the ultimate best version of Roblox you can get. However, guys, if I go over to my homepage or the Discover page, if I then go and find a game to play, so let's play this one, Super Nostalgia Zone. I think I showed you guys this in my Roblox news video anyway, but if I join the game, look what happens. So it pops up just like this. This is like the normal game running, but one thing has changed and that's the menu. As you can see, this is kind of like the new Roblox in game menu. I guess that's what you would call it. I don't really like this menu anyway, to be honest. The normal one is so much better. One thing, how do I even reset my avatar? I don't know, guys. It honestly sucks. Anyway, let me show you what happens when I decide to leave the game. As you guys can see, it automatically pops up with this, the desktop beta app. And to be honest, guys, I hate it. This is absolute crap. It just makes it so much more difficult to do anything. Like, look how many options are down the side. What, like five options? That's not nearly enough. Where's the create tab? Where are my games? Where are my shirts, pants, t-shirts, my profile? See what I mean, guys? This is just absolute crap. It's basically Roblox Mobile on PC, but I can do that on my phone anyway. Why would I want this on my computer? And to close this thing down, it's even worse because you have to press the Windows key, then it pops up like this. Then you have to right click on the Roblox icon and click close window. Yeah, it's honestly so annoying to have to do this every time I play a game. But anyway, guys, now I'm back on the normal Roblox website website, I can go over to my profile. But to be honest, I would really like to disable the Windows beta app. And luckily, Lulu found a way to disable it. So over on Twitter, Lulu said this, you can disable the desktop beta in your settings. It will also open a survey so you can give them your opinions. That sounds pretty interesting. Let's give this a try. So what we need to do, guys, is click on the options button. Next, we need to click on settings. Oh, okay, I see. Here it is. Desktop app beta. Should you like to leave the beta and and return to the previous web experience you can do okay that's brilliant i don't know why they didn't put that in the normal settings but there you go so let's click on disable beta disable the desktop app beta yes we want to disable it if you change your mind that you can rejoin the beta again from the same web banner we'd love to learn more about why you decided to leave the beta a roblox survey will open when you exit please tell us what you think okay let's click on yes disable and exit and there you go guys successfully disabled windows app beta that's perfect i hated this thing. It was so crap. Oh wow, they weren't joking about the survey. I can't be bothered to read all of this. This is just frustrating. I can't be bothered to answer any of this, to be honest. What the hell? Is anyone actually going to go through this seriously? It was frustrating. It was boring, confusing. I'm not going to tick every box. Bro, this is way too long. What even is this? No one's got enough time to sit through this. Hopefully, it's now gone, guys. So let me test on a quick game. Pirates vs Ninjas. Yeah, let's try this one because why not? Let me join. Hopefully, it doesn't pop up anymore. Since we're on Pirates vs 
ninjas. I've actually got a special code for you guys. If you guys want this really sick looking gun, you go to settings, then go to promo codes and enter code shark blocks. So they go shark blocks just like this. If you then click on redeem, error promo code has already been redeemed. Obviously I've already got it. It actually gives you this really cool kind of like custom shark blocks gun. So yeah, if you guys play Pirates vs Ninjas and you want to get a custom shark blocks gun, be sure to enter that code. It's free. This weapon looks so sick. But back onto the main topic of today's video. As you guys can see, my old menu is back. And if I go ahead and leave the game, it backs us out to the normal Roblox website. That's perfect. Finally, guys, this annoying update, which was forced on me, has been removed. That's brilliant. So let's move on to the second error for this video. And this one involves Roblox FPS unlocker. So earlier today, I got a tweet from this guy called Waffles. And Waffles said, Shark Blocks, the Roblox FPS unlocker seems to not work due to an update. Might want to make a video to clarify for people. Well, the thing is, guys, this has actually been fixed. So yes, I was getting the same error. I said, well, that's annoying. I was wondering why my gameplay started to lag. And yeah, look at that. It's still broken for me right now. Well, like I was saying, we can actually fix this. So I'll show you guys how to do that right now. Simply go over to the Roblox FPS Unlocker GitHub. And if you guys click on latest, as you guys can see here, the latest update was released by Austin 11 hours ago at the time of recording this video anyway. So this is literally like brand new. We want to scroll down, go to assets. We want to click on the zip file. It's going to download. It might say it's dangerous. Make sure you click on the arrow and click on keep because as we know, it's clearly not dangerous. Now you can find the zip file inside of your downloads folder. I'm actually going to right click and copy this. I need to copy this to my desktop. On my desktop, I have this, my RBX FPS unlocker file folder. I'm going to open that. I'm going to right click and paste. I'm then going to right click this zip file and click extract here. Make sure to replace the files as well. Oh, if you get an error, guys, make sure you exit out of FPS unlocker. Okay, so let's try that again. Right click, extract here. We are going to click on yes to all. Now, if we double click on this and open it, it should be working. It shouldn't give us an error. And inside of the game arsenal, guys, it's clearly working because my FPS is well above 60. It's like 70, 80, 100. Yeah, there you go. We fixed it. It's definitely working now. There you go, guys. Would you look at that? It's even at like 100 FPS now. That's sick. Now, guys, let's move on to some Roblox errors. And yeah, we can try and figure out how to fix these. So the first one is over on Twitter. This one is from Salty. And he said, Shark Blocks and Roblox RTC, I can't play Roblox for some reason. And I reinstalled Roblox and I still can't play. It's been about five or four days and I still can't play games. Right, so this guy has been getting the same Roblox error for the past five or four days. That's like the length of a Roblox ban or something. Let's take a look at the error anyway. So it's a bit of a strange one, but loads of you guys have been getting the same error recently. So it's called the Roblox Player Beta .exe system error. Oh, okay, I see. So it has something to do with the desktop beta app, which I featured at the start of this video. But the error says the code execution cannot proceed because mfplats.dll was not found. Reinstalling the program may fix this problem. Now, loads of you guys which had this same error told me you tried to reinstall Roblox and it still didn't work. Just like Yoni here. So Yoni was trying to play Roblox. They got the same error, the mfplats.dll. Now, I replied to this a few days ago and I said, I think I had this ages ago. I had to uninstall Roblox in my control panel. Yoni said that's what I did, but it didn't fix the issue. So I did some more research, guys, and I found out this error could be caused by two different things. Well, it's a missing DLL file error, isn't it? So I said you could try installing the latest version of DirectX or maybe the Windows Media Pack. Sometimes these can fix missing DLL files. It's worth a try, I guess. And I linked all of the Microsoft website links. I will also leave a link to this stuff down below in this video's description. So if you guys are having this error, maybe you can try and fix it. So yes, the first one is DirectX. If you're on Windows 10 or Windows 11, it should be already on DirectX 12. I think if you're on Windows 7, you might have to update it. You can update it here. So yeah, that should be easy. That's for DirectX 11. I think Roblox supports DirectX 11, doesn't it? I'll leave a link to this website down below in the video's description anyway. And the second thing I was talking about is the media pack for Windows 10. I'm pretty sure the Windows media pack is really good for fixing DLL errors. So if you guys go to install instructions, you should be able to scroll down and you can actually go to downloads. If you click on this thing, you guys want to get the latest version. So May 2019, you can actually click on confirm. You can actually download it. It brings you to a 64 bit and 32 bit version. I would recommend getting the 64 bit one. So yeah, go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, it will download. I'm going to cancel this because I don't exactly need it, but you would install this file to fix DLL errors. I will be sure to link this down below as well. Another Roblox error, which I get sent to me quite a lot is about Roblox crashing. This one is from Cammy, and Cammy said Roblox keeps crashing. Now, to be honest, this one might be kind of difficult
difficult to fix, the first thing I would recommend doing is probably uninstalling Roblox from your control panel. So just like uninstall it off your computer, and then simply re-download it. The other thing I might suggest, maybe your computer's hard drive is full, so you have like way too many files and stuff running all at the same time. Maybe your PC is low on RAM as well. That's like another possibility. So yeah, like I was saying, this one is a little bit difficult to fix because Roblox crashing could be different for everyone. Since we are talking about errors in today's video, I also saw this tweet from Lulu. He said Roblox have made some new in-game Roblox errors. So there's a new teleport error happens when a game like Piggy Build Mode tries teleporting you to a reserved server that is full. So that's a pretty simple error to fix. Literally just leave the game and join a new one. And there is this error as well. The server is currently busy. If you keep on encountering these errors, probably just join a smaller server or something. Let's go back onto glitches. A few of you guys were telling me that there has been a problem with the Roblox UI. So just like the Roblox website kind of like interface thing. Some people are saying Roblox made a really small change and that's why the UI is looking kind of strange, especially if you have a Roblox plugin like myself. So on this account, I have the better Roblox plugin. And as you can see, my UI is looking a little bit strange. Like what is going on with this? That's super weird. Even if I refresh the page or change tabs or whatever, it's still incredibly glitchy. It doesn't bother me too much. I can imagine for some people, they might get kind of irritated by this if you have like OCD or something, but I don't know. For me, it's not too bad, but it is kind of stupid. Random poster on Twitter said there is a small update on the interface. He says, I swear the Robux icon is closer to the numbers. Oh, I see. Maybe you're right. Yeah, that is a bit strange, actually. I'm guessing that's what Roblox updated then. Oh, guys, I think I found it. Luckily, I had an old tab open before Roblox did this update. And look, if I switch between the tabs, as we can see, some stuff on the top UI bar is actually moving. The Roblox logo, the Robux. Yeah, look at that. Look how weird that is. That is such a strange update. I think the text is a lot bolder as well. I don't really know how to fix this one, but oh well. And the final glitch for this video is happening on Roblox Mobile. And this was sent to me by Jay over on Twitter. So let's go ahead, let's watch his video and let's see what's happening. He said at the start, he, what did he say? He said, Roblox, what is this? Okay, so let's watch. So he goes to join a game. He decides to play Bed Wars. So the game starts loading. There you go, Bed Wars. Then the game instantly exits. It comes up with the Roblox logo on a white screen. And that's pretty much it. It seems to kick this guy out of every single Roblox game that he plays. So at first, guys, I thought this glitch might be like a one-off thing. I didn't know how many people this was actually happening to, but I got a tweet here from Nate and he had exactly the same thing. He goes to join a game. I think it was like a boxing game or something like that. So yes, boxing league. And as we can see, guys, as soon as he joins the game, it instantly kicks him out of the game and it comes up with this. This issue seems to be happening mainly on Android, I think. The only way I can think of on maybe how to fix this is to delete the Roblox app, make sure you know your Roblox account's password and stuff like that, then reinstall Roblox, update it, maybe clear a little bit of your phone's storage as well, and hopefully it should fix this glitch. It's a bit of a weird one though. But there you go guys, that's pretty much it for this video, so if you guys enjoyed it, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.